Okay, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use SiteWorks for Revit to build a curb that follows the terrain. Um, it's just a couple of things to keep in mind first before you actually get started. Under your settings, make sure that under Mass Templates, that your curb mass template file is set to the mass.rft, that the one that ships out of the box with Revit. Under the Mass Creation tab, there's this only create masses parameter and if it's set to no, that means that we'll go ahead and reshape the terrain potentially around the curb and uh, if you just want to create the curb then set this to yes. It'll follow the topography but won't really affect the terrain around it. So it just kind of depends on what you're after. But anyway, those are a couple of key parameters that you may need to change in order for your particular situation to work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place a detail line. I'm going to demonstrate as we kind of traverse, I think this is a crevice right here, what happens when we just draw a single line uh, because what we do with the software is we basically sample the endpoints, the elevations of the endpoints, and then we basically just kind of interpolate between. So if we create a curb now using this particular line, we do that. So we'll go ahead and create a new topo surface here. And then insert the curb using an existing host line. And we'll pick the side of the curb and we'll associate that with the proposed topo surface show the mass in all existing views. By default, of course, it's turned off. And we'll hit close here. Let's just uh, change the view properties of this view to a uh, show new only. So we can zoom in here and you see how things are kind of looking a little bit uh, uh, kind of interesting. And so what happens here is we went ahead and reshaped the, the terrain and it didn't really follow the terrain because it took the whatever the elevation was here and the elevation was here of that line and then just said okay we'll build it based off that um, those two endpoints so if you've got like a crevice or some sort of you know ditch or whatever it might be what you'll need to do in order for this to be more accurate let's just undo our um, locate curb here well, actually, we'll leave it in there. Leave it in there. We'll just do something someplace else. So I'll go back to the site plan and we'll place another detail line. But instead of uh, just placing a single one, I'm just going to do it multi segment. And actually, you know, what you typically would do here maybe draw the single line segment and then use your split lines tool to break it up that's probably the best approach so that way you know you've got a parallel line but uh, this is another way you could potentially do it I suppose okay so there's another line that just has more vert vertices and so we we'll use the curb pool again hit insert select the line pick the side of the curb associate with the proposed topo surface here and it's going to take just a little bit longer because it's sampling across more vertices okay once it's done, hit close. Notice that there's not nearly as much jaggedness with the contour lines on with this one. And you know, you'll also notice here I gotta turn on the curbs or the uh, the mass category, this 3D view, so you can see the curve a little bit better. But it's following much better than this one did, the the terrain. So that may be a key element that you need to be aware of when when building your curbs. Uh, here in Revit that you want with SiteWorks for Revit that you want to follow the terrain you know in a more close fashion as opposed to this right here